which is projected to increase by another 2.6 billion by the year 2025. It is also projected that the world food production will have to increase by 75% over the next 30 years in order to ensure adequate supply of food. The 11 ASEAN Food Conference 2009 will certainly provide an opportunity for participants to explore food science and technology innovative approaches and opportunities to maximize the production of primary produce as well as processed food. Innovative approaches are needed not only for maintaining the quality of raw materials, but they are also used for adding value to certain food products. Since the world is increasingly concerned with the environment, in particular the effects of global warming, food producers are now looking for new technologies or innovative ways to food production that will leave minimal carbon footprint to the use of energy efficient systems and devices. Declaring open the conference was the Minister of Development, Yang Berhormat Pihin Orang Kaya Hamzah Pahlawan, Datuk Seri Setia Awang Haji Abdullah. Also in attendance were permanent secretaries, vice chancellors, deputy permanent secretaries, ambassadors, heads of departments and conference participants. The three-day conference began today and is themed Food Science and Technology, Innovative Approaches and Opportunities for Global Markets. 156 research papers from 31 countries from Asia, Europe, Africa and Australia will be presented, covering areas of food nutrition and health, food standard and regulations. The conference is jointly organized by the Ministry of Development, the Department of Agriculture, the Ministry of Industry and Primary Resources, University Brunei Darussalam and the Brunei Darussalam Association of Food Science and Technology.